Greetings, Skylords! Following the addition of the Fire and Nature factions to random PvE, we are now introducing a brand new difficulty, as well as a new naming scheme for the game mode. Where previously there was a difficulty scale of 1 till 10, with 10 being the hardest, we have made naming adjustments to difficulties to better communicate to the player what skill level is required. Just like campaign maps, our PvE will now have standard, advanced, and expert difficulties, which are then split up into three sub-difficulties, for example, Standard, Standard Plus, and Standard Plus Plus. What used to be the RPVE4 under the old difficulty scale is now the lowest standard difficulty. Meanwhile, RPVE10 is now Expert Plus. We have decided to remove the old RPVE1 through 3 after player feedback. Our new Expert difficulty places itself between the old RPVE9 and 10. Think of it as 9.5. This intermediate mode should prepare Skylords for the challenges of 10, which is quite a leap from 9, our currently most played game mode. RPVE 10, or rather Expert Plus, is the only difficulty where players have to deal with two spawners right from the start. This can easily overrun an unprepared player or grind away their time, energy, and or charges until they destroy the spawners or lose the game, often the latter. The new expert difficulty will have an easier version of the double spawner start, the camps will not have any flying units, and the third lane has also been adjusted, reducing the wave in the early game. This should provide an environment to get used to this more difficult start, without punishing players that can destroy the spawners on their first try. Not as noticeable but still helpful is the lower density of the later map. Players don't have to deal with giant clusters of units and buildings like an Expert Plus. We hope you enjoyed the rework of the random PvE difficulty system and the new difficulty mode that comes with it. Tell us what you think in the comments below. See you in the Forge, fellow Skylords.